Hi there, this is Jacob of Jacob LE Video Production and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get videos from your computer onto your camera roll. This can be videos you edited or videos already on your computer and this is great for Instagram. Instagram does not allow you to post from your computer which is a huge bummer. It's kind of a pain in the neck but this is a super easy way to do it. In the past, I have tried a couple different methods. One, you can just send it over text, but this does take a very long time. I've also used Dropbox in the past, but a lot of people have trouble keeping enough space. And even when I was paying for a paid plan, this method is just quite a bit easier. So let's get going. All right, so I have this video that I have edited and I'm just going to export it. So this is for Instagram. You can either do square or 1350 high by 1080 wide. And H.264 is a good codec. I'm going to get that going and just call it, yeah, slider shots finished. Awesome. Now I am going to get the screen recording going on my phone. So we want to go to the App Store and search for VLC. I've already got it pulled up here and I do have it installed. So you'll want to click Get. It is free. I'll just click Open. And we just get this blank screen, but we want to go into the top left corner and you'll see the sharing via Wi-Fi. If we click that, then we can use this code in like Safari or a web browser, things like that to transfer the files incredibly quickly. You will have to pull up VLC first if you just have it saved as a bookmark or use it but don't have your phone going, it will give you an error message. So I'm going to show this file I created. I'm just going to open up Firefox and then we're going to take this code we have. You don't need the HTTP. Um, so yeah, it's 192.168. 142. So I'm going to click enter. And now I can go take my file and watch how quick this is. I'll drop the file. And it's uploaded and now it's on my screen. I'll click edit, select it, and click the bottom left corner and choose save video. File was successfully saved to camera roll. So it's as easy as that. And the nice thing, you could choose 10 files. I had a multi-post video and it's incredibly quick. You know, that was like 10 seconds between dragging it here and having it on my phone and my camera roll. Now some of those programs like Buffer and Hootsuite are starting to talk about implementing being able to post videos from those platforms. However, there are some reasons for Instagram that you would want to have it on your phone, that that would be beneficial. I'm not sure if they're gonna add where you can post like a bunch of videos quite yet. So if, if you're doing multiple videos, that option is not gonna work for scheduling. And also, I will just open it up here. Being able to choose the cover is really important. You could also add in filters as well. So I'm gonna click next. So choosing the cover is incredibly important and you can only do this when you set it up. So, you know, I can set it to be something like that. So now, I will exit out of this and show you an example. So on my feed, when people are scrolling through and looking through, 
it will impact what they can see. So before I was setting the cover, here's an example. This isn't really on a good frame. It would be a whole lot better if you know you could actually see what was going on in the video. I didn't set that, it just defaulted to the first one. And I mean, sometimes if you fade in from black, you're just left with this black box like I have right there. But the video is really interesting. So, you know, I could have actually went into the video and found something a lot nicer. Unfortunately, they don't allow you to set that later on. So, there is a benefit in having it on your phone. It's pretty quick and it's easy to do multi-posts and you can add filters and you can set that cover. Also, when you're typing up the description, you can use emojis a lot easier. And because like for Throwback Thursday, that's a hashtag that is a little bit too competitive for me to compete where people who are following that hashtag are not gonna see my content because I'm gonna be, you know, 800th in the list of people for that hashtag. However, Throwback Thursday sun emoji, you know, it only has like 20,000 people. I actually have a shot of ranking for that. It is possible when you're typing up to use emojis, but it's just so much easier on your phone. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. This is the easiest way that I have found. If you'd like me to do how to send it over Dropbox, I can do that as well. But trust me, this is a lot easier. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.